Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today it is time to talk about our August set, Burning Shadows. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, our third Sun and Moon set is going to be called Burning Shadows, and it will be released on August the 4th. Which means that this set will be legal for tournament play for the very first time on Friday the 18th of August, which, would you believe it, just happens to be the very first day of the Pokemon World Championships. And I don't want to be too up myself here, but I totally predicted that was going to be the case. Now it is going to be confirmed. Now, we have some information about this set. We can speculate a little bit on some of the others. Now, this is the equivalent of the Japanese set, Did You See the Fighting Rainbow? and Light Consuming Darkness. And we can assume that it will also include the Sun and Moon 2 Strengthening Expansion Pack. Now, this is our Sun and Moon 3 set. And the way it worked was that Japan's Sun and Moon 1 Strengthening Expansion Pack is coming in our Sun and Moon 2 set, Guardians Rising. So it makes sense, although it's not 100% confirmed, but it essentially is, that Japan Sun and Moon 2 Strengthening Expansion Pack will be coming in our Sun and Moon 3 set, Burning Shadows. Now we know there are going to be 12 Pokemon GX, and some of them have been confirmed. So cards that have been confirmed and we know who they are, we're getting Tapu Fini GX, we're getting Machamp GX, and we're getting Darkrai GX. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about them because I've done entire videos on those Pokemon. I'll put links in the description. Check them out if you want to know more. But we also have confirmation that we will be getting the Crosma GX, Ho-Oh GX, not a huge surprise given the name Burning Shadows and the Japanese pack art, and Charizard GX, which... I mean, it's Charizard. We were always going to get a Charizard GX. The only question was when. I suppose now makes as much sense as any. Now, they're the six that have actually been confirmed as being in the set. But in the Sun and Moon 2 Strengthening Expansion Pack in Japan, there is a Salazzle GX. Check my video about that in the description. And I think it's fair to say that that will be included in Burning Shadows. So that gives us seven of the 12 GXs. And one which I personally think will be in the set is Marshadow GX. Now, if you're not familiar with this Pokemon, don't worry. It was only officially released on April the 7th. It is the final Pokemon from Sun and Moon, the largest, the highest Pokedex number we have so far. And it is a ghost fighting type, which means in the game it will either be psychic or it will be fighting. And there's a couple of reasons to think we'll be getting a Marshadow GX. Firstly, the Sun and Moon free set in Japan is a tie-in with the 20th movie, and the 20th movie is introducing Marshadow into the trading card game. And secondly, the name is Burning Shadows. Now, don't get me wrong. Burning Shadows, Burning Ho-Oh, Shadows Darkrai. And we know that Ho-Oh and Darkrai are the kind of poster children for this particular set so maybe burning shadows is just a reference to those two but Mars shadow i mean it's a shadow pokemon it's got shadow in its name and look at its eyes they're like little candles i'm not saying Mars shadow gx is going to be in the set but i think it's fair to assume there's a very good chance it will be here's the deal though i don't really want to speculate on the other four gx's because in the previous set we had this pack art which made us think that Mimikyu GX was coming in the set. It didn't. But we got Alola Ninetales and Metagross GX. And we got three of the Tapus, but we didn't get Tapu Finny. So I don't really want to guess too hard on this. But anything that's in the Alolan Pokedex, anything that's in the Sun and Moon games, is open for a GX in this particular set. Maybe an Alolan Marowak, because we haven't had an Alolan Marowak card yet. Maybe we'll be getting a GX of him like we got Alolan Ninetales, or getting it, in Guardians Rising. I don't really know, ladies and gentlemen. But you know the deal, as soon as any of these are released, I will be bringing them to you very, very shortly. 
And we're going to be getting six full art supporter cards featuring important human characters. Safe to assume that one of those is Acerola. There's going to be a video about her very shortly indeed. But we're going to have to wait for the others. We will have to wait and see what happens. Either way, this is looking like a very exciting set. And you know the deal. Whenever any new cards are revealed, there's going to be an analysis of them on this channel. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I do. Now you know the deal, there is a comment section, go nuts, be nice. There are buttons to both like this video and subscribe to this channel, I would be very happy if you would be nice enough to use them both. You can follow me on Twitter, at the Wossy, and of course the most important thing as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching, my name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.